Top four x-rays negative, by the way. Wilson Bediment comes in to replace Chipper, and wouldn't you know it, ball finds it. Oh, Adam LaRoche off the base. We got to have a discussion. It looked like LaRoche, it doesn't even look like it. He did get his foot back in time. This is real interesting because you usually don't see umpires go convene, get together on a play on the field, maybe a home run or something like that, but on a judgment call, you don't right. see it very often. Like Eric that. Cooper made the initial call, then after consultation, obviously they reversed it and Charlie Manuel saw red. Had West Virginia dander got up, Carl. I know what that's like. What do you think he's saying, John? Um, there's a good place to have dinner tonight. For David Bell. Base is loaded, two out, and Alfonso Marquez calls a strike. Bell not happy with that one. He's not the only one. Watch Marquez. He just threw out Chuck Manuel before he got to the dugout. Well, you know, sometimes a man's got something on his mind. He's going to come get it off his chest whether he's been tossed or not. Top seven, more David Bell and Marquez. One-two uh -oh. pitch. Yep, strike three called, and now Bell, he's hot and cold. Oh, it's okay. Stay cool, brother. No, nope. oh, full on difference on. of opinion. It may have been whispered, but but you shouldn't have said the word anyway. Now he's in there and really going to have at it. Plenty, a lot of guys exercising the First Amendment right to free speech here. Let's just go. Oh boy, now we're abusing equipment. Little kick. He says, "How did that go out?" He thought that was a fly ball to right. Meanwhile, David Wells. Batting and uh, Charlie Manuel thought that was a strike. Well, all the when, ball. You, when you have the reputation of a hitter like Boomer does, you're going to get those calls. As <laughs> a batter, right? He has a good batting <laughs> reputation. Manuel, he, he wanted to be taught, right? Vernon runs as he looked for his ninth win. Mike Piazza, wow, that ball just missed outside on an 0-2 count by John Lieber. And then another ball just about the same spot. Todd Pratt thinks it should have been strike three. Stands up, says something to the ump. And Marquez, the umpire, has something he doesn't like. And Pratt, you're out of here. Charlie Manuel comes out to argue. He's gone. So Manuel exits, and Mike Lieberthal comes in to catch for Todd Pratt. That he said I was on the top step. I had a good feeling. Then no one had a good feeling for Philadelphia after Bobby Abreu gets rung up by Mike Everett. You be the judge. One more look at this. Kind of the Greg Maddox backdoor sneaky number, but that pitch doesn't look like a strike. Abreu is seething. Charlie Manuel comes out. You create something like inward singing. Manuel get you can go too. Phillies needed a miracle. Nine still now, seven to six, two outs, one two pitch. Aaron Boone, Hanley Ramirez is going to be out by a mile, and the Phillies are going to win. No, safe, safe. Check it out, Rod Barajas. Game-ending tag situations, normally good, but Tim Timmons is there. Charlie Manuel comes out. He said afterwards, things started to go haywire. I'm thinking the game is kind of slipping away from us. Career against Hamels with three whiffs. Take a whiff of that. Smells like a triple right off the start. That's where Wright will end up on third base. That's a weird wall setup they have at Shea. Uh, then they're going to show, look at Wright's hand. I think that might have gone yard, and Paul Loduca is up next. As I think it went yard, and take another look at it. And guess what? It went yard. Why do you have a fence, though, that's right next to the fence if it's a home run? We've got, we've got a call into Shea on that. Doesn't make any sense. This game is tied at two. Wright's ninth of the year. It was accurately called, but Charlie Manuel thinks, hey, uh -oh. you, you, you use the screen, and... And Detroit scores five runs, and it's 6-3. It's 7-3, top eight, Marcus Timms. Jose Mesa's one-two pitch called a ball, and catcher Carlos Ruiz wants, a, wants an appeal on the check swing, and home plate umpire Bill Welke refused, and Ruiz admitted afterwards he, he said a couple bad words in English. Charlie comes out to defend his guy. He's gone, and then third base coach Steve Smith, he gets knocked out by first base umpire Laz Diaz. Check your umpire fantasy league. Get Monique. Towards the Phillies dugout. Charlie Manuel gets tossed out of the ball game, probably questioning that last ball to Brett Carroll. Boy, that's that's uh, this is needed stuff. Manuel knows the nose. Heck of a way to pitch. Jimmy, slow roller. This is going to be a tough play. No. Oh, he, moved, he missed the tag. Oh, they're saying he's out. He missed him. Ty Wigginton did not make that tag. At least it didn't look like it. But Larry Vanover calls him out. Here comes Charlie. It looked like Jimmy made a heck of a move here, and he never touches him, does he? No. Nope. No, he just tags air. 
Not even close. Ooh, not even close. Uh, Charlie's going to get thrown out from this game, I would think. I mean, he's following Van over now. Just said to him, what do you want? Okay. You got it. See, Van over said to him, what do you want? Baco. Who did he hold on? He did. Paul Baco saying that ball hit the dirt. Coy Hill is saying that he grabbed it before it hit the dirt. Baco's asking for help. Sam Holbrook is saying that he's out. I understand, too, when a guy would strike out wide, you would get some help. Well, there's your help right there. Yeah, he just said he's, he, he, he called it a strike also. And I assume he just chucked Charlie out of this ball game. 9 5. It's now 9 6. Bruntley going to right. Francoeur coming on. He makes the grab, right? No. It's ruled a hit. Initially, Francoeur can't believe it. He's got words with Rob Drake, and then the umpires change their call. So it's an out, and Charlie Emanuel, well, he's not happy because he's wearing that uniform. Also not happy with the call being re Squares. And he bumps it toward the left side. Molina's got to play at third. There's one, and that throw gets away. And it skips up the right field line. Ruiz will stop at third. And they're going to say that Joe Blatton interfered with Albert Pujols, and the inning is over. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but the umpire is probably looking at that whole play as it develops. Looking at the ball, looking at the yard. No, young and old, they support their manager here in Philadelphia. He's been ejected from this ball game. Way inside, off the glove of McCann. Up to second goes Joe Blatton. They saying that ball hit Dobbs. They are. Dobbs didn't think it hit him. Larry Vanover, the home plate umpire, oh, saying dead ball. And here comes Bobby Cox. Oh, McCann, that, no, Dobbs didn't I think couldn't it hit tell. him. No. You could hear it hit the glove of McCann. All right. Well, let's get a look at it here to see if it does. Well, Larry Vanover is going to point yeah. Joe. No, he can't point Blanton back to first. He could. He, he still had to go to second for the wild pitch. Now Charlie's still arguing. I don't know if you know they gave him second. Well, Charlie may be arguing that Dobbs should be. Oh, oh he's oh, out my. of game. How about that? He must be arguing that Dobbs was awarded first, so don't change your call. Yeah. 27 infield hits this year, and he can bunt up the first baseline. Ryan realizes that runs after him, and no, oh, he missed him. Greg Gibson is saying he missed him. Michael Bourne, what a great bunter he is, and with that speed, see Charlie Ryan Howard's trying to get to him now. He misses him at that point, and there is where he makes the divot after yeah. he had gone by him, and I think that's what he was saying to him. He went around him, he was still on the baseline. Of course, Charlie got thrown out. You could hear the crowd roar there at the end, or I mean, during that replay. The 2 2 pitch tried to check his swing. Jim Wolf. Is asked to appeal and he went around says the third base umpire Lance Barksdale. Wow. Charlie Manuel is not pleased about that. He's heading out to talk to Barksdale on that one. Jim Wolf was not going to ask for an appeal. He just sat there and waited. I don't think Charlie's allowed to go out and he's just been thrown out of the game. Run. Nope. He went. See there's nobody there. I'm going to say no swing. I thought he went on that We're one just too. Talking about that. Fletcher, that was, second base umpire. Yeah, that was a point I was just making at the top of the inning that that's going to come into play tonight. That there's nobody down there when there's a man on base. I think Sam Perlazzo and Charlie Manuel are both saying saying something, and I think Charlie's just been thrown out of the ball game. Oh. Man. Uh oh. Uh oh, Charlie. There he goes. Well. Talking about Bill of the Cap to the Bill of the Cap. Yeah, Charlie yeah. is red hot. That's what they call Beacon. It. Yeah, when he runs out like that, he is really smoking. I haven't seen him this no, in a long either. time. Now they got to calm him down. Wow. Bullshit. That is a fair ball. Oh. oh. The runner's got to be out at second. Now they're saying no. But right there, well, he's saying that he pushed. He's saying that he pushed Barmas. But Barmas is walking around and with the bat and everything yeah. like that. 
said, you know, it looked like he pushed and put his elbow yeah. out to push him, and I think that's was the initial. Oh, there he goes. Iasonia got him. Yeah, Dan Iasonia throws him out. And now he'll just sit and listen. Iasonia's the acting crew chief in place of Jerry Davis. What's he doing in there anyway? And this ball hits oh, the my. ground. Took a short hop. Yes, it did. Great job by McCann to catch it somehow on the show. I, I honestly think McCann was looking for a new baseball wheel. He was. He was. He knew it hit the ground. And that was really flagrant. It's hard to believe he could miss it by that much. You know, this is a 6 4 ball game. One base runner, and the tying runs coming to the plate. 